Hi, this is Lara at Elliott Wave Forex with your free US dollar index Elliott Wave analysis for the New York trading session dated Wednesday the 8th of December just after New York's closed. I'm going to have a quick look at a historical chart. I'm just going to go through my main wave count today. I have a couple of alternates if you want to look at those. It's in my previous video. This is a monthly chart going back to 1995. When we look back prior to this, this wave to the upside has a really strong three wave look. I've labelled it wave A at cycle degree. Thereafter, we have an ABC zigzag to the downside, which I've labelled B at cycle degree. And at cycle degree, this is unfolding as an expanded flat correction because B reaches beyond the start of A, which is off to the left of the chart. So we should therefore be expecting at cycle degree a C wave, which ends substantially beyond the end of A and is most likely to be 1.618 the length of it, which will be achieved at 141.08. And we may get there in a few years' time. Within this wave C at cycle degree, it's going to subdivide into a five-wave structure at primary degree. So far we've had primary one, which is subdivided into a simple impulse. Therefore, the C wave at cycle degree is going to be a simple impulse. If it was going to be a diagonal, it's only other option. Then wave one at primary degree would have had to subdivide into a zigzag, and that's not the case. So we've had an end to primary one, two, and then within primary three, we've got a one, two, and just on the start of intermediate wave 3 to the upside of primary wave 3. My shorter term target for the end to wave 3 black at intermediate degree is 99.16 where it will reach 1.618 the length of wave 1 black and that may be achieved in a few more months. Taking you now to an hour, uh, daily chart just for the last little while where this black 2 and black 1 up here is this black 2 down here and black 1 up here and here's our second wave at intermediate degree a really obvious zigzag an impulsive structure for A a very strong three wave structure for B an impulsive structure down for wave C blue to end wave 2 black thereafter we've got a very clear breach of this trend channel that's drawn using Elliott's technique for a correction a trend line from the start of A to the end of B parallel copy placed in the end of A shows that the trend has changed from down to up with a very strong breach of that trend channel. Within black wave 3 I expect this is just pink or minute wave 1 and not blue or minor, although we may change the labelling up one degree, we'll see how this one unfolds to the upside. We have an end to a first wave, a second wave correction, and within wave 3 pink we've got a 1, 2, this can't be a 3, 4 because 4 moves into 1, therefore it's an extending third wave, which is really common, a 1, 2 and the start of a 3 green to the upside. We should not see any movement below 77.98 for this wave count as any further extension to the downside of wave 2 green may not move beyond the start of wave 1. This wave count will be confirmed with price movement above 88.71 because wave 3 black must move beyond the end of wave 1. So at that stage, one of our, at least one of the alternates will be invalidated and this wave count will be confirmed and as I said, before on that daily chart, my target for the upside for wave 3 black is 99.16 where it reaches 1.618 the length of wave 1. Taking you now to an hourly chart where this green 1 and 2 is this green 1 up here and 2 down here. And here's quite a nice zigzag, a leading expanding diagonal for wave A, a sharp zigzag for B, a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 obvious impulse to the downside here for wave C. This downwards wave has a pretty good corrective count. Thereafter, within wave 3 green, we've got a 1, 2, 1, 2 developing again. This can't be 3, 4 because 4 moves into 1. Therefore, it's an extending third wave. We should be seeing, therefore, some fairly explosive upwards movement for the dollar coming up soon as we are looking to see it begin a third wave, within a third wave, within a third wave. And this is all within primary, or sorry, blue or minor wave 1 of intermediate wave 3. So we're also within a third wave at intermediate degree, within a third wave at primary degree. So upwards pressure or upwards momentum should be very strong indeed. My shorter term target for the end to green wave 3 is where it reaches 1.618 the length of green wave 1, which started off to the left of the chart and can be seen on the daily chart at 84.66 and that may take us another week and a half or so to the short term. In the immediate future I expect this little second wave correction at purple degree here to the downside is not complete, the structure does not look complete. I expect it may correct down to the 0.618 Fibonacci ratio of this first wave at purple degree 
may be achieved when it gets down to 79.665. There's some nice ratios in this wave count here within wave 1 orange. Wave 3 purple is 0.174 short of 1.618 the length of wave 1. And wave 5 purple is 0.057 longer than 0.382 the length of wave 3. Some reasonable Fibonacci ratios in there. Within the second wave correction to the downside, this zigzag for wave 2 orange. Wave C purple is just 0.06 longer than 0.618 the length of wave A. So they've got a Fibonacci ratio between them. Within this upwards movement, I've labelled wave 1 purple. Wave 3 aqua is, has no Fibonacci ratio to wave 1. Wave 5 aqua, however, is just 0.038 longer than 1.618 the length of wave 1. So there is a Fibonacci ratio in there. This is a very, very extended third wave, if my labelling of that is correct. Either way, it certainly does look impulsive. And this choppy downwards movement, very corrective. Compare and contrast it to this upwards movement, which is very impulsive. So I'm pretty confident that, at least for the moment, the trend for the dollar is up. So that's all for me with your free dollar analysis. If you would like regular analysis of the euro dollar and or the pound dollar to help you in your trading, you'll find it on my Forex site.